Hey everybody, this is Dan. I'm going to give you a brief tour of Blackboard Community. Uh, many of you will be loaded this fall for the first time, and uh, I'm running the math community, so I want to show you how to get there. If you click on Online Learning, we're going to go into Blackboard. Now, even if you're not Blackboard trained, it's okay. Uh, you're going to be in here as a student in the math community. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Access Online Courses. And if you look up here, I'm, I'm in Blackboard. It says My Blackboard in this tab. And then we have this new thing called a Faculty tab and then Courses. So I'm going to click on the Faculty tab. And you should see your organizations here. So these are some of the organizations or communities I'm part of. If you click on Math, that's the community I'm going to show you today, there's really some very basic navigation here. And we turn this on. This is what it would look like as a student here. So on the left hand side we've got information, just general information about the community. Resources, if I click on resources, these are things that would be relevant to the whole department and district-wide math resources. And if you're wanting to add anything or you have new ideas that you want to do that, please just click on the discussion board and you can create a thread and just tell me, hey, I, I would like to add this to the resource page or I'd like to start a conversation about these resources and everyone will have access to do that. On the left hand side there's courses and this was, has every math class at DMAC and this is where we're going to need some help. We're going to need people that are willing to share syllabi and uh, assessments and best practices in these classes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Math 157 one. In this one we have some folders with the sample syllabi uh, some best practices and signature courses. So this actually shows what the online course looks like, the general structure. You can click in here, uh, see what it looks like, and um, yeah, so everybody can see what the online classes are like. I'm going to cl click the cookie crumb up here and go back out. Um, I've also made a short video here going over that one. But if in general if you want to add anything for instance anything in math 157 I would click here there's a discussion board and you'll see a common theme here we have a discussion board at the beginning of every course or every content area and this is where if you wanted to ask any questions or have anything you'd like to contribute to the math 157 area um, go ahead and create a thread or reply to one that's going and um, I'm currently subscribed to this and I would encourage you if you teach this course to subscribe so if I click I'll hit unsubscribe and now I'll hit the subscribe button so anytime someone posts to this discussion board you'll get a quick email to tell you to go out and check it out if I go back to courses again again I would go into every course that you teach maybe become part of those subscribe to those and if you have anything you'd like to share again go into it for instance, in Math 063, if you want to contribute your sample syllabi or assessment or anything or projects, just click on the discussion and attach it there. In fact, I'll do that right now. So I'm just going to hit Create Thread, and I'll just say uh, Sample Syllabus. And then what I can do here is an attach a file. I'm just going to browse my computer, and I can go into Matho 63 and I can go ahead and attach uh, for instance this is my online summer one I can just attach that there hit submit and now I'll know as the leader of this group to go out there and put that in the proper place and other people can um, talk about that and, and get the conversation going about what they cover or what they emphasize and things like that uh, under courses again um, we have uh, a lot of different courses which means we're going to need a lot of teachers to take the lead and the great thing about community is everyone is kind of in a level playing field here everyone's going to uh, have the same access and uh, would be encouraged to adjunct full-time um, and our career advantage or dual credit teachers will also be in here uh, sharing best practices and the last tab over here on the left side uh, would be professional development so here's some Again, it starts with a discussion, um, and here are some links to some national organizations. And if you would like to contribute, let's say you know of a conference, or if there's something, uh, some good web link or webinar series, uh, please submit that here, and everybody will be able to see it. 
And then the last one is members. So when you get into here, we've got a discussion board where you can introduce yourself. I've introduced myself here already. I did put a picture of myself and you know what do I teach and you know kind of my little brief background. So please introduce yourself to the community. Again, in the members area, there's this roster tool, so you can actually search the entire community for people. Um, so that may be important uh, for some. But pretty much just once you get in there, introduce yourself, snoop around, take a look at your courses and some PD things, and please uh, uh, contribute anything you think is worthwhile.